Welcome to this tutorial on intact stability. Tutorial number 520 focuses on IMO severe wind and roll criteria. So the IMO severe wind and roll criteria is a special criteria written by the IMO. Uh, the reason it's special doesn't have to do with the criteria. It has to do with um, getting it actually coded right in the computer is kind of tricky. So GHS has a special way to do this. Um, and we're going to cover that. Now, it's not so much about any individual command, it's about getting the exact right sequence of commands, and it's often easily misinterpreted. So we're going to go over that pretty clearly, and then we'll also show how you can do it with gusting winds. But first, a disclaimer. So this presentation is for instruction purposes only. It is not to be used in engineering construct for construction and I'm not a representative of Creative Systems. So everything you see here is unofficial training based off of my own personal knowledge and experience. For the official training, you can contact Creative Systems directly. They do offer training. I highly recommend it. Okay, so let's talk about the IMO Severe Wind and Roll Criteria. Now I'm not here to teach you regulations, so I'm just going to give you the basic stripped down version. Uh, so it starts off with the idea that the wind is pushing the vessel to starboard, but the vessel rolls over to port. So you start on the port side, um, and that means you have some stored up energy. And the vessel then hits you, or excuse me, the wind then hits you and rolls the vessel to starboard. So part of that rolling is going to be the energy it already has stored up from going to port, and then there's even more from the wind pushing it farther. <coughs> and the IMO applies some stability limits based on the resulting reaction. So you can see here's the example uh, this region A here this is the initial port roll and then this whole region B here and going out that is the uh, resulting heel from the wind. Now to do the IMO wind, severe wind and roll criteria you need the roll command. So roll, what roll is, is it's a specific value used for the stability heel angle. And that, that's pretty important to understand is the roll command uh, is not actually done to the vessel. What it does um, is it defines a value that you can use later on. The way you actually use the roll command is you type in heel of star minus roll. So that's saying heel of whatever your current angle is minus the roll angle. Now what is the roll angle? How do you set that? There are two way ways you set that. Number one, you type in roll and then your angle in degrees. And so that's some physical angle that you've calculated somehow. Or more commonly what you're going to do is type the keyword IMO. So you'll type roll IMO. And what that is, is GHS has the IMO formula coded into it. And so it will calculate the roll angle based on the IMO formula. And that's really important because the, I, the roll value changes depending on the vessel draft. And so when you just type roll IMO, GHS does all that math for you. Okay, so now let's go over this command sequence for the IMO roll criteria. Uh, do use this exact sequence, okay? Don't modify it. You want to use this exact sequence. So you start off by typing roll IMO. That defines your roll angle. Then we define a wind. So wind of 53.4 knots. <clears throat> then what we do is we apply our healing moment from that wind. So wind of constant constant value, trim allow, and you could also put in a band and a combine command as well. Now we solve for the vessel, so that's going to take that healing moment from the vessel um, and let the vessel heal to solve for that. That gives us our initial equilibrium angle. Then we override that with heal of star minus roll. So we've calculated our roll angle up here and we're using it down here. And now, once all of that's done, we run the writing arm command with area. <clears throat> so 
pardon me. So, I'll show you an example. Here's an example with the uh, roll being calculated, or the uh, wind pressure being calculated. And I wanted to show you the main difference between the two. So we start off here with the uh, healing moment being applied. And now we actually solve and it balances out. So we're starting there. And then you can see here I have applied the heal of star minus roll. Okay. So now we are no longer in weight equilibrium and everything else is going interesting. Now that's where you want to leave it. You want to leave it at that point. So don't solve again. Then you run your writing arm curve. Okay? And from that point, uh, GHS will take it over. So here's all the nice, interesting information here. Uh, this is your area curve. So there's your writing arm going up, and here's your healing area. And huzzah, you're in good shape. Okay, now I mentioned before we were going to talk about the gust parameter. This is another part of the IMO criteria, the gust parameter. It's a modifier on the wind. So what this is saying is that when you come to evaluate the gust, uh, you type in your wind of 53.4 knots, but when it, and, and it's here, it's hard to be specific. It, it's important to understand exactly what's happening here, I guess. So when I type in healing moment of wind here with a gust of 1.5 knots, and solve for it. So this is static equilibrium here in this solve. At that point, GHS is solving with a healing moment from a wind of 53.4 knots. Okay, so we start off, the gust hasn't kicked in yet. But now, and that's what I've done here is I specified a gust parameter of 1.5. But now, when I go to the writing arm curve, that writing arm curve is also going to have a healing arm in there. And when it calculates the healing arm for that curve, it's going to assume a wind speed of 80.1 knots, which is 1.5 times 53.4. So that's how that gust parameter kicks in. It's not actually in the static analysis, it's in the writing arm analysis. So here's an example. Um, I have to find a wind healing moment there again. Uh, same thing. Yeah, basically the same parameters. Now, the last thing I wanted to show with this is how do you do this setup if you're going to run a max VCG analysis? So it's a slightly different sequence but it's still again you have to follow the exact sequence so again roll IMO healing moment wind constant with all of your parameters solve and then you don't do anything else don't apply the roll command or anything else just run max VCG and if this has been set up with this exact sequence before running max VCG GHS knows how to apply the correct roll commands ahead of time so it'll recognize that you're setting up an IMO win criteria, and it will run max VCG with the correct modifications. Um, now I know you're not familiar with the max VCG command probably. That's the next tutorial, so we'll talk about more about that later. But first we're going to practice using the IMO win criteria. So homework number 541, I would like you to apply the IMO severe wind and roll criteria. Include a gust factor of 1.5 and encode the following limits. An equilibrium angle of less than 16 degrees, an angle that has an equilibrium angle that has less than 80% of deck edge immersion, and the residual energy ratio from the roll angle to 50 degrees or down flooding point must be greater than one. So have fun looking through the GHS help file to uh, See exactly how to code that in. 
Uh, this last one is probably the major tricky one that you'll focus on. And then once all that's done, run your writing arm curve and include limits evaluation. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it informative. Uh, you can find homework files for this tutorial and other tutorials online at dmsonline.us. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Hey, did you know that there is a magic button down below? Click the like button or even the subscribe button and I will make more videos for you.